This is Aster from Aster Command. We are here to serve you. Hello, Aster. Hello. It is a pleasure to connect with you again. It is a pleasure to connect with you and all of you. So, would you like to give us some uh, insights and some advice on uh, these challenging times that we are going through right now, collectively on this earth plane? Um, some advices on, on how to navigate through the challenges, how to keep our vibrations high. Yes, easiest way for all of you to keep your vibrations high is to focus on yourself. Focus on your passion, focus on your dreams, focus on your life, your desire your relationship within your circles instead of looking outside outside it could be news outside it could be what people are saying outside it could be any kind of a social media you encounter to when you include any kind of outside information you are using those resources as a part of creation of your reality so we are recommending you to be careful what do you watch and what do you include into your reality because as soon as you watch them and then take them in it becomes your reality which wasn't really there to begin with um those are other people's construction other people's um filter of their reality so it is very important to use discernment and use and discernment and also pick and choose what you like to include and what you like to exclude. So easiest way to create a pure, joyful reality, staying joyful vibration, it is important for you to focus on inside. What do you like? What do you love? What are you passionate about? What makes your heart sing? This is the easiest way for anyone to focus on because everybody do have their awareness of what they like, what they don't like, what makes them happy. Right now, you are, we mean humans, are experiencing challenging times. These are collective decisions we all decided to experience, but even though this theme is the same, degree of challenge or how you feel about this current situation is different from person to person. Some people are in turmoil and having extreme fear about this, some people are focusing on improving their skills and then um, developing their internal guidance and going within themselves to discovering who they really are during this time. So it differs person to person. But easiest way is, again, to focus on yourself, focus on what you want. And sometimes when you feel you so-called negative emotions, fear or anxiety, overwhelming thought, it is very important to face these emotions and experiencing it internally and feel it through. And then once you feel it, they're gone. So instead of shying away from your emotions, all of them, cherish them and experience them, all of them as an equal, then 
you would not think one emotion is better than the other, just looking at them as a neutral emotions. And then once you look at them neutrally, you are mastering your emotions, which is very important for all of you to master on this plane. And that's what all of you are doing right now. While you're purging some of your old emotions no longer serving you. Thank you very much for these insights. Um, I really resonate with everything you, you shared. And I, I understand how focusing our attention on external situations, we are actually feeding them. Um, I wanted to ask you about um, this, <clears throat> this situation that we have co-created collectively. Um, how much can we influence it really from an individual perspective? The you have to understand um, creation of your reality, creation of your world is your own. You think you're co-creating, it is in the big picture, yes, you are co-creating. But the world you're experiencing is your own creation. So you see all these people, your friends, your lovers, your family, and you think um, these people are separate beings from yours. But these are your projections, in a way. If we put it in very simple manner, you are in a hologram. You're creating your own hologram with your beliefs, with your vibrations, with your thought. So when you are thinking about inference only inference you're having is within you so when you are changing yourself transforming yourself your world changes because these are your hologram but it's so, a complicated one right it's quite complex convoluted and entangled right this is what i'm trying to often wrap my head around because i do understand what you're saying that we we, we create our own reality individually uh, but at the same time we have the collective um, reality that we co-create for example the global events right now it's it's a co-creation right Yes, co-creations. Mm. So when people are saying about dark versus light, which we don't agree on, we are all ascending together. These are collective agreements. So even though an event or challenging time seem gloom and doom, they are not always that way. Because when you're mixing the um, one side of collective mind and the other side of collective mind together, let's say when you put the white ink and the black ink together, it becomes gray. So these are similar. And then on top of that, they are overall very higher level of consciousness intention, which is we all ascend together. So yes, it is, um, there are a lot of entanglement with other, other peoples, other, creations together but in a big big picture as a collective which is you are all part of you are putting and putting all this information together into your own hologram 
So yes, having same incident and then, but how you are experiencing it internally are completely different, even though you all experience one incident or one challenging time. Yeah, and then I guess, would you agree that it's also in what also shapes our own reality is how we react to the external events? Yes, it is. It is. That's why sometimes seemingly not a great event happens. So you can reroute yourself from one vibration to another. Mm -hmm. You can make a collective decision again from previous, we would say, timeline decisions. So when you shift vibrations from one event by having a different decisions, which is higher frequency decisions, which is coming from by raising consciousness, you can reroute all this construction of reality or even you can construct your new reality which is not related to any other timelines so these are reasons why we are recommending you to not focusing on any kind of conspiracy theories even though some of them are true or light versus la darkness and then we have to fight with these forces all these timelines are not serving for all mm -hmm. yeah I, I i again very much resonate with what you're saying so for our viewers um i would like to ask you um how would you advise um, one, what attitude um, would you advise one to have towards the so-called dark ones? The ones who have, um, who, are, who seem to take the role of creating this darkness on our planet right now. What, what would be the, the most constructive way or appropriate way to, to you need to have a discernment but you don't have to attack them because you all have been on that side in your previous galactic life or earth lives so just because you happen to be in the light force at this time doesn't mean you have experienced on the other side The galactic war happened because of the division between dark and uh, light and there were no end. And then eventually we had the mediator to solve this because mediator's group had the neutral vision of that. So we have reached understanding of there's no darkness or no light even though some of the beings tend to choose the side many of other higher beings are in different places that choosing side are not creating any kind of harmonies and uh, peace in all of galaxies and all of universes mm. and the reason why we are serving earth and other planets because we are here for peace yeah so it is very important to again not focusing on this because by putting your focus on, you're putting energies on to creating and to keep on More having these timelines. Yes. Keep on having these timelines. As long as 
you are focusing on your own desires, your own passion, your own mission, and uh, shifting away from this mindset, then you can start creating completely new timelines, which is very important. What comments do you have on the, on the current uh, seemingly separation between people um, and how can we deal with, um, with especially people that are close to us, that uh, we are not um, on the same page, that we, we have opposite, opposite um, beliefs? Yes, this is the reason why Earth is very um, hot place where a lot of beings are watching and giving their hands, some of them are giving their hands. Because when you are in a particular planet in higher frequencies, you have more of a collective mindset and you have more of collective frequencies. So you don't have so many different thoughts or ideas or how you want to operate yourselves. So within the planet level, you don't encounter someone who is different. Or within even a frequency level, so you don't really encounter someone who is different either. You can always understand that you are fellow beings point of view because you vibrate in the similar frequencies. So when you encounter someone who is co having completely different thought, completely different beliefs, completely different idealisms, and they also think they are right. And on earth, there are so many different of those different political ideas, different spiritual ideas, different religious ideas, different ideas on marriage, who should be with, um, different idea of what is successful, all sort of different ideas. And everybody are putting a label on who is right and who is wrong. So this is a perfect ground to exercise. Respecting other people's opinion, even though you don't agree with them at all, without attacking them, without um, belittling them, without beating them up. And you can respect others' differences. There is peace. You don't have to change your point of view or how you conduct your life, but you can respect where they are coming from. So when both can do that, there is peace. And what if, um, what if the, because the majority right now is still asleep, isn't it? What if they never, if they, if they don't awaken spiritually? What, what I'm, what I'm, in other words, I wanted to ask you, like, because I think that many people who are awakened, conscious already uh, beings, they, they would like to um, give them a hand to, you know, to plant them the seed to awaken because they are so asleep. Collectives decided to awaken. We're talking about people on earth. So the degree of the time, how fast or how slow they're gonna be awakened, which is different. So people who are already awakened, they are the reading edge of this journey. So they happen to be a way shore to be the lighthouse, be the influencer to spread your high frequency on and around your world. 
but you don't really have to concern of these people who seems not be awakened yet because all of you have decided to be awakened so they so, would yeah. awaken at their own pace you mean yes mm. yes so you have to respect on their choice or their speed and again focusing on your own passion your own desire is again the very important because when you look at the outside and then being frustrated or sad about how people are not awakened which is not helping to create a new reality we're not saying you have to bury your head in the sand but when you are aware of how reality is created, which is always within you, and each of you are a creator, creating all different timelines. So in a way, you are very responsible how you want to create the timelines. So question is not about people who are not awakened. The question is about how would you like to make a difference in your world? That's what you need to be focusing on. Again, your passion or your missions. Wonderful. Thank you so much for Our pleasure. the information. This is Aster from Aster Command. We are here to serve you. <laughs>